So we get to pick mum up in the evening? Yeah, it's a palliative care facility that operates like a daycare. Are they far from where we are staying? No, not at all. It's quite central. I'm about to meet them now, so I'll tell you more tonight, eh? Hi, uh, you must be Serena. I'm Arthur. We briefly spoke on the phone just now. Hi Arthur, I'm Serena. I'm the staff here at Oasis. Are you ready to take a look around? Yep, I'm looking forward to this. Come. Our design philosophy is anchored upon dignity, diversity and development. It is present in all our activities. This is the tuck shop. Most of our beneficiaries gather here first thing in the morning. It is a space meant for social gatherings or to have a meal. Wow, this is quite spacious. That's because we have made a conscious choice to have ample space for wheelchair users at Oasis. This might surprise you, we have a bar here. At Oasis, we want to add life to days for our beneficiaries. A simple indulgence in life, like a mug of beer or a glass of wine, can be enjoyed while they are here. I didn't expect this at all. But what you said makes complete sense. You can see that they're having a good time. The bar counter is designed with two height levels, one for standing and one for the wheelchair. We also have special coasters that encourage conversations between different people in the space. This is the Tooth Fairy, a dental clinic run by our volunteers. Wow, I didn't realise dental care was important. Oral health is often overlooked at the end of life by more pressing clinical needs. This affects self-esteem and dignity. Hence, we think this is a nice touch for our beneficiaries. The flower printed wallpaper is to help them feel relaxed in the space. I hope your mum likes getting her nails done. This is the spa lawn. The purpose is to enable our beneficiaries to feel rejuvenated and good. My mum loves getting her nails done. This is unexpected. Then, I am sure she will enjoy the spa lawn. She could also get a massage or haircut from our volunteers. What is that room? Oh, that is the dungeon. Oasis is the only day hospice in Singapore that serves paediatric patients. We wanted an intergenerational facility where we can have elderlies and children mingling together. It's like back in the kampong days. Yes, we want to promote kampong spirit here. There is also a small play den with bean bags, comfortable cushion seats for parents and siblings to spend time together. This is the greenhouse, a dedicated space for gardening. Our beneficiaries take great pride in caring for their own plants here. Watching plants grow gives them satisfaction and meaning to know that they can nurture life despite their illness. I never knew the impact gardening has. Gardening workshops are one of our most popular activities. It is run by our volunteers. Is this your office? Oh no, this room is the chatterbox. This is where we have private conversations with our patients and their family members. My mom sometimes keeps things to herself. Maybe this could be a place for her to open up. Perhaps. We use conversation tools as a trigger for difficult conversations. The tools make initiating conversations less intimidating. Serena, what's happening? Oh, that is the wonder part. It is a surprise-making tool and appears whenever there is a celebration. Oh, it's a birthday celebration. Yes. The wonder card becomes a visual cue whenever something special is about to happen. 
there are a few areas that I did not bring you to. Beyond these features, the user experience is what makes Oasis special. Beneficiaries can even book activities through an app. Oasis is really well thought out. I'm quite impressed by the facilities. So what are the steps if my mom is keen to come to Oasis? You can let me know and I will get our team to process her doctor's referral note. She should be able to join us in no time.